Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to live coverage of the Straight Line Motorsports Mazda MX-5 Cup Championship round number nine here at the Red Bull Ring Circuit. I, hello, everybody. I'm your host and commentator for today's set of races, ST underscore RRDZ, and Indeed, we are utilizing the wet layout here for the Red Bull Ring circuit. And of course, <clears throat> you just saw me about two days ago. So what's the deal with uh, the race on Friday and today? Well, unfortunately from last time when we did the GT3 championship coverage, um, James was only able to get the Pro-Am coverage in, but unfortunately we weren't able to get the live coverage of the Pro championship. So. I was able to hop back in and get a recording of the Pro Championship from Monza, and so I, if you guys have not checked that out, please go ahead and check those races out as well. We do run a GT3 Championship as well, in addition to the Mazda MS5 Cup Championships you see here, the fifth location of the season for rounds 9 and number 10 at the Red Bull Race Circuit, and so with all things considered, we will go down the grid for today's race, and currently, the man on top at the moment in free practice is Hair Razor in the 69 Costa Mazda. And he's been, he's been on a strong charge as of late with this entry. He's kind of had a tough time in the GT3 championship, but he's been doing very, very well for himself here today and for this championship. So he's on top of the 211-414. And then it's Superboy 580R in the 29 Mazda. And he's been doing a pretty good job with that entry as he was pacing free practice earlier uh, before this lobby was open. And now he's currently in second with a 212-029. And then in third place, it is the sister Costa Mazda in the hands of Doug Barrow, the number 13 with a 212-479 to put himself third fastest out of everyone at the moment. And then, we take another lunge back to Elliot Fagater, and he will be on fire here today, and he will be looking to add to his championship plate here as he's racked up a lot of wins here. He's racked up three wins in eight races, so he will be looking to get some serious points here on the board. And of course, he is leading the championship, so it is good for him as of right now, so as I am loading up the live stream on my iPad, I will quickly link that to the Discord. notification is made on the discord and then we will go down continuing to look at the rest of the field currently and now SM Palmer in the 24 Mercedes in the top five TIGSR says hey welcome to the stream TGIS unfortunately sorry to hear that you're not participating in today but we will provide be providing the action for you of course SM Palmer of course fifth place at the moment 215.6 so a lot of these guys, well, I say that then, but now he's popped himself back up into third. So, will we see a potential first-time winner here in the Straight Line Motorsports Mazda MX-5 Cup Championship? And so, current point standings, as they are, as they are SLM Palmer in first place. Actually, hold on. There is also a couple more people we have to introduce, so I apologize for that. We have Bar 27 now in the number 27 Mazda MX-5 Cup car, and he will be looking to benefit from the rain here to hopefully try and catapult yourself up in the point standings. And we have James Head, who is still in the pit lane, and of course, we'll be waiting for him to take his gander out onto the wet surface. Hair Razor still out in front in the free practice now. And qualifying will be coming soon. TIGSR says, are people really running wets? They are running the wets, as a matter of fact. They did a bit of testing, and some people have come to the conclusion, a lot of the field has come to the conclusion that wets are faster, but uh, intermediates and wets are pretty good in a straight line, but it's the corners that make the difference for these wets, and they're very suited to the cornering abilities of these cars. So, 
these cars, of course, they can run intermediates or they can run wets, but most of the field, or pretty much all the field, I should say, is running the wet tires at the moment. So, Superboy, only 95 thousandths of a second behind hair raises. So, 211.414 to 211.509. So, and as for Superboy, who is making his third race start of the season, he will be looking to probably get a win on the chart on the board here. And another thing, too, about Hairraiser and Doug Barrow, these guys have not won a single race at all this season. And Elliot Fagner has jumped himself up to the top of the timesheets with a 210.596. And this is not qualifying, but this is very good qualifying practice indeed for both of these guys that got practice in the dry, but then are racing in the wet. And you can just hear all of the water that is kicking up from the Mazdas, the spray and the spray water so this will be a very very interesting race of course and of course Doug Barrow getting himself up in the third with the 211.507 so that's very good for him of course but he's only 93 thousandths of a second off of his teammate but only two thousandths of a second faster than Superboy so Incredibly close racing between the top from second all the way down to fourth. Power a little ways down. Oh, he's having a very, very tough time trying to wrestle the car and keep it in a straight line, of course. Bar 27 with a 213.9. 3.3 seconds off the pace from Elliott. And James Head, who's still sitting in the pits, will be wanting to get out and do some laps because time is coming to a close. These guys will have 10 minutes for qualifying. So let's go on board with Elliott Bagater. And you can see, oh, you just, you just see the car getting unstable. Look at that. Instead of turning right, you turn left just to correct the car's oversteer. And oh, and a big moment for Elliot Fagater. Can he keep it safe? Yes, he does. But I do believe that will compromise his lap, this lap, and the next lap. Because that was a very, very bad exit out of the final corner. And so Hair Razor improves only two tenths of a second down off of Elliot Fagater. Oh, and a massive, massive amount of oversteer in these cars. You can just see, even though these cars will provide close racing, the moments like oversteer like that can prove very, very deadly indeed. And of course, that white might get in the way of some people's races, but this will, like I said, make for some insanely close racing regardless. And it looks like Hair Razor might have had some moments with the wall already, because you can see the damage on the front of the car. So that's something we might have to pay attention to for qualifying and potentially in the race. Doug Barrow improves to a 210.8, so he finally cracks into the 210 barrier, but he is a little ways down off his teammate. So, Superboy picks up a penalty. I do believe he will go back to the pits. Nope, he will stay out in course. And finally, James Head. Oh! And I don't think James Head would definitely want the commentator's curses as it's occurred to him a couple of times so far in both championships this season. Oh, and a massive Tokyo Drift style. Deja vu, please don't copyright this video. Drift right there from Elliot Fagater. And he's just doing a good job at trying to wrestle that car. Of course, do not need the wheel on. That is to, for my wheel, so for anyone watching, of course, it says control disconnected. That is for my wheel. And we have another app, another boss in the hands of Mooshalot, which we have not seen for most of this season, so he'll be making his fifth race start here this round. 
a faggot with a five tenths penalty, which he will have to serve. And there is the Mazda of, ooh, maybe not just yet, if I can find him. Oh, no, he's not. He's not coming out of the pits yet. We also have the Mazda of Dirty, who second race this season has capitalized on a race win, so Dirty might be looking to make a challenge for more race wins to come because he's definitely one of the quicker drivers in the Straight Line Motorsports League. On board now with the Mazda of Bar 27. And qualifying should be kicking off here in roughly a minute's time. And it will be 10 minutes of sliding action. And these guys, I think, will only get about five laps of qualifying. So, it's roughly at the moment as I speak. For these guys, it will probably be 6.50 their time. Oh, and a massive amount of oversteer once again. See, that's the thing with these Mazdas is that they're, they're going to get a kick of oversteer pretty much out of every corner that you have to slow down for because you have to give the car, you have to slow the car down, give it more gas, and then the car will just spin its wheels up like it's nobody's business, and then that's where you get your loads of oversteer coming out of the corner. So. That will have to be something, and oh, just like that right there, the understeer as well will have to be something to pay attention to for qualifying and for the race. So I'll go back to championship points here because I don't think I finished them. At the moment, championship leader SM Palmer, championship leader SM Palmer is leading the championship, but not by much because he did capitalize on a race win over Elliot Fagater in the in round number eight. Get first place and then get a Elliot Fagater on his third. So at the moment, as it stands, it's 131 points for Palmer. And Elliot Bagger trails him behind by three points with 128. And Hair Razor has gone back to the top with a 2-10-2. So can 209s be a potential for this race? And that's Doug Barrow taking to the escape road, which might be used a bit more frequently than it could than, it, than most people would anticipate. So And Doug Barrow will come to a halt, I imagine. Ali Faggeter flashing the lights, let him know he's coming. Yeah, he's just letting all the traffic go on by so that Doug Barrow does not get in the way, of course. And I did forget to mention that Hair Razor is third on points in this championship, but he is 15 behind. Elliot Fagater and 18 behind Palmer and he's and Hair Razor is at 113. And then for fourth in the standings, you go 20 points down off of off of Hair Razor, and that's where you get James Head that is fourth in points with 93. And then Doug Barrow, who did not attend to Scuba, of course, is at 77 points. So that's your top five for the championship. And there is the Mazda of Mushalot, 37. We have not seen this man for a little while. And so they'll be looking to break through. He's not a he's not had a good he's not had a good championship so far this season because he's been down the order a slight tad, but he will be make he will be trying to make up some points. And, that, and also, not even paying attention, Superboy has gone to the top with a 2102, and that's only 93 thousandths of a second quicker than Hair Razor. And only Hair Razor is one tenth of a second just over on Elliot Fagger. And Palmer moves up into fourth. Doug Barrow still in fifth, Barr in sixth, Mushalot in seventh. 
but he's way down the way down on pace with a 218.6. I imagine this is his first times. This is his first time running the the, the car on wets. James Head also running. Yeah, I imagine with Mushlat running this car for the first time. This will be, and also just analyzing the fact that these cars on pace already before even qualifying has begun and before the race has begun, this is making things very, very interesting for the race as a result. Dirt Dude still in the pits. And he might want to be thinking about setting some laps, of course, in these conditions because they are treacherous. On board now with Superboy. 580R. Actually, now I stand corrected. Let's go to. Where is he? Go on board with James Head. Oh, Mushalot right there. We'll go on board with Elliot Fagater, the man second on points. And we'll take you guys through a hot lap of the circuit, of course. Coming around to the final corner, using as much curve as you can. But don't, don't overdo it. Get yourself set for the final straightaway. And that right there is a 5 tenths penalty, so that's been added to his lap. So, coming to the first corner, you want to be late on the brakes, but don't be too, too generous on them. Break just before the 50 meter board. Just completely turning the wheel left and right, just trying to maintain control as the best that he can in those Mazdas and then stay in third gear going forth if you're in over if you're drafting I'm not sure that was a lag spike right there but going into turn number th two three so we just passed turn number two with a little left hander before turn number three and then another long straightaway before you get into turn number four. You never hit 100 miles an hour in these cars, which would be about, I want to say 100, well, 100, yeah, which would be about 160 kilometers an hour for the lads over on the other side of the Atlantic Ocean. completely over rev the cars and get as much gearing out of them as you can going to turn number five this is where some this is where the car wants to understeer itself and go completely into the outside portions of the circuit turn number six Elliot Fagater a little high on the RPMs but still trying to keep it actually doesn't have oversteer on that lap on that section turn six so that's good for him and this will help out his lap very very significantly Eight. Oh, and he goes a bit wide, so that's not something he wants to do. It's turn number nine. Elliot again being over generous. Oh, and he overdoes it. And unfortunately for him, that might compromise his lap again. Yes, it does with another five times penalty. Even one second penalty now, so not good for him right there. Is Elliot Bagger starting to bit get a little too greedy? with track limits in some way. We will have to monitor that for qualifying. So, I imagine qualifying now will happen about two minutes time because we're almost at the two minute mark. So 15, or I should say about 23 laps of free practice. At the moment, Superboy still leading the way, but not by much. So, We will monitor things as expected. Hair Razor has come close a bit on his last lap. A 2103 is only a tenth behind, so that's really very good pace for him. Lay Faggot with a 2104, but his penalties on the last two laps are halting his progress significantly. James had his mood up into fourth. 
and qualifier has started. So Superboy looking very, very strong in the early running in free practice. And so qualifying now will shake things up slightly. The one to try and set a fast lap first. Ali Bagner, the one first on out. And the whole field will follow suit. Bar 27 behind. He's syndicate. He's actually trying to signal the field to go by, but I think everyone's gonna want the toe. So this could be very interesting right here. And Hair Razor will pace on by. Elliot Bagger is definitely gonna want the slipstream here. So the qualifying is already looking like a repeat of Formula One from Monza. And please don't copyright this video because I said Formula One, of course. Ali Fagner is definitely going to want the slipstream here. And look at this. This is going to be some tight pack racing here already for qualifying. So, and Duck Barrow is going to provide, get some tow. Barr, just on the edge of the tow. Mushalot and Superboy are going to get his tow. And there is Durdu. And James Head behind as well as Palmer. So about nine cars here for qualifying and for the race. But Ellie Fagner is definitely wanting the slipstream of these cars. So Raj Allah says, good evening, brothers. Good evening, Raj. Thank you for joining on the Straight Line Motorsports commentary, of course, and live coverage of the Mazda MX-5 Cup Championship. We do hope you enjoy the coverage, of course. And, of course, now these guys about to start their first flying laps here with just about eight minutes to go. Elliot Fagner is going to have to not be as hot-headed as he was in the last few laps before qualifying has started. And that's a great run for Elliot Fagner out of the final corner. And I believe he's Harris is going to give way and he most certainly will. And I do imagine Doug Barrow is gonna let him sneak back in. Oh, there's a bit of contact, I think, for the two Costa Mazas. Oh, no kick of oversteer. And Durdude is gonna come in. And he started on intermediate, so that is not good news for the 14 Aston Martin. And I imagine he will go to full wets. And yes, he will. So he's going to have another out lap to do. And that means one less hot lap potentially for Dirty. Knowing that that was not the right tire decision to go about for this race, for this qualifying session. So, Ellie Fagner is still leading the way for the first set of hot laps. And Hair Razor and Doug Barrow in the both of the Costa Mazas are to follow suit. And Elliot Fagner did not get the best of runs out of turn number four. And Elliot Fagner, oh, and a kick of oversteer from Hair Razor, and that's going to hold both their laps up. So, that is not good news for the two up in front, and this is gonna allow Doug Barrow to get much of a better toe and get a bit closer. And Ellie Fagner might have not liked that, so. Let's go down the field now. Superboy and Barr, 27. Still having their own set of toe. James Head is backed up a little bit. Mouchelot has backed up significantly, so I'm not sure what happened to him. Polymer and Durdude. At the back, of course, and they're going to be coming on up. And the first set of qualifying laps is Ellie Fagner goes a bit wide, so he's not going to have a good qualifying lap this time by. And Doug Barrow will pass him, and that's a one-second penalty. So Doug Barrow up at the top of the 211-1, Hair Razor with a 211-4.
And all the time's coming in. James Head goes top with a 210 dead. So that's a good first lap for James Head, of course. And he's a whopping 1.1 seconds faster than Doug Burrow. And now seven times ahead of Palmer, who slips into second place. And Dirty will start his, will get his first lap now. And Elliot Bagner got a penalty on that, out of that last corner. Watch this, my voice recorder is very loud. I do apologize for that, but uh, I do want to make sure that the car noise is louder than what the, what my voice is. So, um, to be, to turn down the volume, probably I do apologize in advance for that, but these guys, third, fourth, and fifth on a hot lap, but James Head and Palmer still in second, but James Head with a 211, 210 dead for your first lap in qualifying, and that is a very good lap for the start of qualifying, and there's only five minutes to go in this session, so... Mitch Dodd says, morning guys, good morning Mitch, and thank you for joining on the Straight Line Motorsports commentary for round number nine of the Straight Line Motorsports Mazda MX-5 Cup Championship. You're tuning in for a very exciting qualifying, of course, with Mazda's slipping and sliding in the rain. So, if you thought qualifying was going to be heated, the race could be heated as well. So, James Head, looking at the times, he's had a purple sector... He's had a purple sector two, Superboy with a purple sector one, so sixth place in so the man in sixth place, Superboy, could be on a hot lap here. James Head getting a great run out of the final corner, so Doug Barrow moves into second with a 2-10-6. And Superboy has lap compromised. A 2-11-0-9-2 for Superboy, but James Head with a 2-0-9-6. And for the first time all weekend. A Mazda will crack into the 209s, and that's a great lap for the number seven Mazda. Mushlap pops in the fifth. What does Palmer got? No improvement for Palmer, and Durdu pops in the sixth with a a 211-1. But James Head with a great, great lap. All purple sectors, and he's not even done. A purple sector one. So this is a great, great qualifying session for James Head at the moment. And I imagine some of these guys will get this lap. All these guys should get this lap and one more, I imagine. These guys will come to the second sector, and Elliot Fagger is still three seconds off with a 2109. Has he had a penalty somewhere? Elliot Fagger with a 2109 last lap. Yep, he might have had a penalty of some sort because he's not showing up the lap further higher. Hair Ranger still in seven, so. Oh, and Doug Barrow's gone wide. Doug Barrow has gone wide. The man in second place has gone wide. So this has killed his lap for sure. And he will only have just one more lap to do it for pole position, who he's only a second down. James Head, what has he got? No purple sector this lap, but can he improve potentially this time by? Elliot Bagner with a 209.9. So that's a very good lap for him. But what about James Head with a 209's dead? What an impressive lap and qualifying for James Head. And could we see potentially going into the 208s? And Mushala pops into third with a 210 dead. So this is a, an incredible qualifying for all these guys. Palmer moves into fourth with a 210.6. And the lap times are starting to fall down. Dirty moves to sixth once again with a 210A and Mushlot with a 510 penalty. This could be the end of his qualifying. So we'll go back up to James Head. No purple sector, but Mushlot with a purple sector three. So 
And James Head says, can you stop fucking on us? No chatting. No chatting, please, for the races, of course. The monster from Oi, hope you win, bro. From Mitch. He is quick. James Head is quick indeed in the Mazdas. Can he do a 208 will be the big question. Final laps for qualifying now. So these guys will have one more shot to improve their laps. Green purple, green sectors coming in for Mushalot and Palmer, but Mushalot has had his lap compromise. Harry's are on a purple set on a purple sector, on a green sector one. Purple sector potentially two. No, he is down by five tenths of a second, so we might not even see a 208 this time by. But a great effort for James Head. He's done extremely well in this qualifying session to master the rain and be able to take pole position by a whopping nine tenths of a second. Palmer is on a good lap. And for the final time, qualifying will come to a close. Elliot Fagener, as he gains a penalty for himself, unfortunately, but that's the end of his lap. Hair Razor moves in a second with a 209 four, so that's a good final lap for him. But we still have more people coming across the start finish line. Superboy with the flakers, so that's unfortunately day done for him. What about Doug Barrow in the other? Costa Mazda, that's no improvement for him. Palmer's have had a good lap. What can he do? A 2-10-1, but doesn't change on position. Mushalot, no improvement. Dirtude is the last potential improvement. Oh, and he's not even going to improve, unfortunately, for him anyway. But qualifying has ended at a whopping four tenths of a second gap for James Head, and he will take pole position for round number nine at the Red Bull Ring. So there you have it, nine Mazdas ready to go, slipping and sliding here today for round number nine of the Straight Line Cup Championship here. And of course, you'll know when they go. And so, the green flag waves now and it's lights out and away we go for the guys up in front. James Head's gotta quickly cover off that inside line. No one's making a move as of yet. Elliot Fagner warming up the tires a little bit slightly. And Elliot Fagner on the outside can make one stick on second place and he is not going around. And Elliot Fagner is gonna try and make some moves work and Dirt Dude has fallen down to A the pushes. That's not a good start for him. But look at all the spray. Look at all the spray coming from the Mazdas, and look at that. It is probably going to be a tight race, obviously. A lot of slipping and sliding going on now. All of my pace is good from James Head, but he's got to withstand the race pace of Elliot Fagner, which is very, very good for himself. I do apologize for my voice being a bit loud. I'm just getting very, very excited for the race start, so. <laughs> so James Head on the inside now to defend from Elliot Fagner. And he's doing a good job of it. Harry's are in the third, Palmer up in the fourth, Doug Barrow in the fifth. And Superboy is gonna try and make up some round on up. These Ferraris are very good. I'm, Ferraris, hmm. Ferraris, hmm. I've got to think that one for a second. <laughs> Brilliant British Engineering. Oh, and Superboy has gone off. Is that a bit of a lag spike for Superboy? Is that a disconnect from Superboy? Oh, Superboy has disconnected. So that is not good news for Superboy. And James Head with a track limit penalty. And he is going to serve it now and allow Elliot Fagner to take the lead, which he has a 5 tenths penalty, which he is going to serve now. Dirt Dude on those intermediates. 
is coming in again. So, what has happened to Dur Dude? I think the intermediates are not working out for Dur Dude, so he's gonna have to push a little bit, of course. And Ellie Fagner, of course, with the flashers. <laughs> Ellie Fagner should know it's not Christmas time as of yet, so. Oh, it's Superboy with a potential dive on the inside of Hairraiser. Can he make it stick? No, that might have slowed him down more than anything, and it's allowing Game Tech to get back up into third. We'll go on board with James Head now as Raj Allah says, James look looks as smooth as my father when he put a whale in our village. So smooth driving indeed, but Palmer is going to force one on the inside. Can he make the overtake stick? Yes, he will. But the momentum by James Head is still there. And James Head is not going to give much grudge in this race. And what lovely racing there is between all of these guys. Just, if there's one thing that can give you art of racing in the rain vibes, it's definitely this. League racing with rain, Mazdas, and they're all slipping and sliding, giving giving oversteer to every single one of these cars like nobody's business. Mushlot in sixth and Barks by seven has fallen back just slightly, but there is still a five car train going on at the hands of Elliot Fagander, Hair Razor, James Head, Polymer, and Doug Barrow. Oh, and a massive slide out of the final corner for Elliot Fagner. And I don't, I guess it will give him a 5 tenths penalty. And so, Elliot will have to serve that. And Hair Razor is right up on the back bumper. Elliot Fagner slowly serving that penalty. Trying to exploit things where he can. And he is doing a good job of it, but kind of frustrated for the guys behind who are trying to make the loose stick. Oh, and Elliot Bagger leaving the door open for Hair Razor. Oh, and is it going to be three wide? Maybe. Is it three wide? I thought so. And Elliot Bagger with an over under, so a great move on Hair Razor. And James Head will get the slipstream. Doug Barrow's falling back a bit slightly. On board now from the driver's eye, or never mind, from the hood view of Eslin Palmer. And James Head, can he force one down the inside? Harrison gives it gives the space. And a great move for James Head and that might be bad for Palmer, and he will get back up into third. And Hair Razor with about a quarter or so has lost two positions. So, not good news for the 69 Mazda as he's trying everything in the book. Elliot Fagner still leading the way on very, very, very close racing here, indeed, at the Red Bull Ring. says, sir, may I ask what model Ferrari this is? Um, these are Mazda MX-5 Cup cars. These are, this is, uh, so this is a Cup car, but it's not Ferrari 488 Challenge cars. So, it's a slower class of cars, but they do provide for some great Cup racing, as you are seeing right about now. And James Head on the inside, out of the final corner. Polymer is going to follow suit. And so... Fact, Elliot Fagner is going to force him up there, move very, very late. James Head's going to move slightly. Oh, and a massive slide for James Head out of the corner. And it's three wide, and Palmer's going to take the lead of this race. And so many position changes with just only three laps of this race complete. And Palmer with a great move to get back up into the lead of this race. Rajala says, terribly sorry for that. It's all good. But these cars are still making for some close racing. Elliot Fagner is not afraid to send one up the inside. Oh, 
Owen kicks up over here all around. And Elliot Thayer is going to get a slow run out of the corner. And James Head's going to move up into second place. Doug Barrow and Hairraiser, Hairraiser still falling behind. But not by much. And so, Palmer now still leading this pack of Mazas. We'll go on board and look at that. One, two, three. And you can see it is kind of difficult to see from Hair Razor. Oh no, I'm sorry. That is James Head that we were looking at. <laughs> I'm sorry. We'll go on board with Palmer now. You can see one, two, three, four packs of headlights. And you can see it is very, very close racing indeed for Eslan Palmer still leading the way and there might have been a contact made from James Head as James Head was forced a bit wide and he gets a 5 10 penalty, so might have that been contact from James Head's point of view. Elliot Bagger, oh, and Palmer tried falling, but Elliot Bagger was alongside him. And Palmer falls back another two, another position. And once again, Palmer is relegated down to third, and James Head now leading the way. And Elliot Bagger back up in the second, but. These guys not able to set their own nines or own nines that they didn't qualify because that is going to Mooshlot with a 209A. But of course, pretty slow laps for fourth, for third and fourth lap. And so, Doug Barrow and Hairraiser still not that far. Boy has re entered the raid the lobby, so we'll definitely want to try and get back in. Eslam Palmer still trying to find some ground. Oh, and is that a change of position as well between Doug Barrow, Doug Barrow, Doug Barrow and Hairraiser? I do believe so, it is. So, oh, and a massive wide moment for James Head which has easily let the door open for Palmer and Elliot Bagger to move up into first and second. And Palmer alongside Elliot Bagger is gonna force him there. A tight pack race. Oh, Palmer's not liking that with the flash of the lights. And this is probably allowing James Head. Oh, you can see the frustration by Palmer. He's definitely not like that. As he might have forced him to, as Ellie Bagger might have been trying to force shut the door. And Ellie Bagger once again going this time very, very wide. And this is opening the door drastically. And Doug Barrow with a great run out of the corner. Oh, and very, very close contact. And almost a spin. Palmer gets back in the lead. James Head. On the inside, can he force the door shut? Oh, and a massive moment, moment of overseer, and James Head still side by side, and Fagner back in the lead of this race. This is insanely close racing in the wet. So, Ellie Fagner, who went wide, lost the lead out of the final corner, and quickly gets back out of the final corner, and this is providing some intensely close racing. James Head, oh, and Palmer, it's gonna force one up the inside. Nothing doing there as of yet. The momentum run. And you can see the glimmer of headlights flashing off of Elliot Bagner's car, but then behind is Palmer. Touch a run for Elliot, for James Head to make a move on the inside. Oh, and Palmer with a dive ball on the century. Can he make the move stick? And it is two by two. Going
going towards the next corner. Look at this two by two action. And nobody is giving each other a grudge. It's going to be who holds on to the momentum push. Going into this corner, Doug Barrett backs out of that. And the two Costamazas are winning it for a mistake from the leaders. Palmer, though, with the dive of the century, he goes a bit wide. And that's a penalty right there! Oh, and Doug Barrow with a massive scare. And so Palmer will have to serve that 9 10 penalty, so that's not good news for him. But oh my goodness me. And these six laps of racing have provided a insane amount of racing for me to commentate on. This is insanely close racing and no one is giving each other a bit of room. You want to flex your muscles, you got to do it the hard way. Elliot Bagger right now moves to the inside. James had alongside once again for a potential move on the inside. Elliot Bagger just giving the car width of room. Palmer now with a kick of oversteer with an 8 tenth penalty. Oh, and Doug Barrow's had a moment somewhere. He's lost a lot of momentum somewhere, and now he's a lot closer to the moose lot than he would be with the pack of leaders. So, what has happened for Doug Barrow? A 2.15 his last lap. What's happened here? Doug Barrow with a 42 is his last sector. So, something has gone wrong for him. And Dirty with a 2.22 his last lap. So, he's lost a lot of momentum somewhere. But the action is too intense for me to take my eyes off at the front. Hair Razor alongside James Head. Can Hair Razor stick one on the outside? Maybe nothing doing there. Oh, and Ellie Bagger almost forcing the Costa Mazda wide, the 69 a bit wide. Trying to keep that line for the lead going, of course. Air Razor going a bit wide, potentially opening the door. Oh, and Elliot Fagger with another kick of oversteer. And Elliot Fagger doing the right thing and letting the Mazda of Hair Razor get on by, because otherwise he would run him right out of road, and that would be a penalty, of course. And James Head out of the slipstream, so unfortunately, Polymer is right there. Oh, and it's a little by three by three. 3 wide going into the second to last corner. Elliot Bagner doing a good job of defending. Oh, and James Head going out of track limits a little bit. Oh, and was he a little bit assisted from Hair Razor? He goes a bit wide. Elliot Bagner now. Oh, and that's definitely on Hair Razor. He's been given a two second penalty. So there definitely was contact of some sort. Palmer has served the penalty, but that is a two second penalty which Hair Razor will indeed have to serve. Oh, and Hair Razor's been spun around! And the ghost function was on, but that has spun Hair Razor around and out of this race. James Head a little ways down. Doug Barrow has got back into this race somehow. The video image is only black. Can you hear your voice? Uh, try refreshing the live stream. Try clicking out of the live stream and trying to get back in. So that might be your best way to try and refresh the live stream. So Ellie Fagner now with a one second lead. And I feel like this lead is going to come down quicker than it anticipated. Now all of a sudden the gaps now have opened up and it's got to force people to start playing a little bit aggressively. And Doug Barrow has got himself back up into third, which is a very, very good running for him. And Mushalot, who had a tough start to this race, has now up into fourth. So that's a great running for him so far. Palmer now into fifth. Bar going a bit wide and oh, and almost a collision between. Hair Razor and Doug Barrow, or not Doug Barrow, Hair Razor. Elliot 
factor now, the gap now has been reduced significantly down to five tenths of a second. And one other thing I've noticed too is that the, all the, uh, the, the windshield wipers are in complete unison to one another. Oh, an LA Fagger! Oh! Well, my apologies, that's a massive wide spike on my end, so I do apologize for that. And I do believe we're having some issues with some people not being able to see the live broadcast. Ali Fagner still leading the way over Jane Ted and Doug Barrow. Mouchelot not that far behind. Palmer with a 1.3 second penalty now, which he will have to serve. Harry Jones clearly just comes but all of a sudden is now back into sixth. So unfortunately for them, that's going to be a tough day if he wants to try for him. Starting to see the gaps significantly grow from those behind, and so Elliot Fagener still leading the way with just about 10 minutes to go. Just about now, well, I mean, it's 11 minutes to go, but you know. <laughs> Elliot Fagener, and this is not the pack race. More now with Elliot Fagner and James Head is within striking distance and is starting to bring that gap down a bit. If James Head can win ahead of Elliot, this would be good for him on points. Definitely. Oh, James Head. Think about making a move to the inside. Nothing doing there as of yet. And very, very close racing indeed. James Head is going to flick on the lights. Oh, he might have been held up actually by the. Mazda of James Head and of course a 2097 now for James Head and it might have been something to do with holding the 7 Mazda up for the 64. Oh, Doug Barrow still retaining, remaining close. My James Head and Fagner. Fagner with three wins this season, James Head with two. Doug Barrow, of course, trying to get his first of the season. We've only had five different race winners this season in the Mazda MX-5 Cup Championship. So, keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, after the race, we will have post-race interviews for the podium finishers. So stick around for that. And then as soon as that is done, We'll be booting up the next live stream for round number 10 of the Straight Line Motorsports Mazda MX-5 Cup Championship where the finishing grid will be reversed and of course that will provide for some insanely close racing as well. James had now in absolute qualifying trim because he's absolutely ahead of his fastest lap by a tenth of a second. So Ellie Fagger starting to feel a little bit worried there. A, a big run for James Head. Coming to the second and final corner, James Head briefly grabs the lead, but Elliot Fagner is going to hold on to the lead with the inside line prioritized. And James Head with a great switchback move, and a switchback move has been done for James Head. He might have been hit a little bit wide, and Elliot Fagner, these two still side by side for the race lead, coming across the start of the line, and I believe they're nearly identical to one another. No one's giving each other a bit of room. Elliot Fagner trying to keep him there as long as possible. And Rajala says, I have a question for drivers. Uh, Rajala, if you do have a question for drivers, please leave it in the live stream uh, comment section. I will get to it to the drivers, of course. So that will be appreciated. And Doug Barrow has moved up into second place. So Elliot Fagner with about seven and a half minutes to go, 
has had its race falter from first place to third within about a couple corners time. So, can Doug Barrow make him the move for his first win of the season? That will be the big question. James Head stretching the gap out a little bit. And so, Doug Barrow having to withstand a bit of pressure from Elliot Fagner, who's very, very good on pure pace. Elliot Fagner not afraid to send it up to the inside and keep the pressure going. I do imagine, though, if Elliot Fagner is going to want to flash the lights, and that's a good run for Elliot Fagner, but can he cover that inside line? Doug Barrow is not going to. Actually, that might, a lot, that might have benefited Doug Barrow more than anything because he's still ahead of Elliot Fagner. So the tighter line not benefiting the 64 Mazda, of course. And Mitch Dodd, I do want to say we do we would like to prefer English in the commentary but in the live stream chat, please. So if you could provide English cup English for the live stream chat, that would be appreciated. I do I would appreciate that as well, along with the Trade Line Motorsports admin team as well. So James Head now growing that gap now to just over a second, or just under a second, I should say. Because he is still trying to keep it there. Oh, and the late dive potentially by Elliot Fagger. And that's a great move for Elliot Fagger, but Doug Barrow still keeps the position, and that's a great effort for Elliot Fagger, but unfortunately for him, nothing is doing there. So James Head growing that gap now to 2.07 seconds, and he will be looking to tie for the most wins this season with Elliot Fagater. Elliot Fagater has three wins, James Head has two, and Elliot Fagater will definitely be wanting to try and get another win, of course, but James Head will be on a hot charge. He's been in qualifying trim for the longest of time, probably for the, probably since has begun, and he's three tenths up at Palmer now with a 209.3. So a lot of these guys setting the breaking into the 09 barrier. Could we see 08s potentially made? Doug Barrow still having to withstand a lot of pressure from Elliot Fagater behind. Oh, can Elliot Fagater force one on the outside, maybe? That's not the preferred line going into the next corner, but the momentum run that Elliot Fagater has, he will get up into second place. Palmer has moved up in the second. What happened to Doug Barrow going into the first corner? He's lost out massively. And so Elliot Fagater having to so James Head with a 209.3. And I know this is definitely slower than his qualifying lap, which was a 209.005.
And that lap in itself is not easy to do in these rainy conditions, especially in a car where oversteer is very, very prominent, especially when turning into slower corners for these cars. We will have post-race interviews for the podium finishers. So at the moment, it will be James, the typical podium finishing crew of Elliot Fagater. Actually, I stand corrected. James had his only time on the podiums have been wins. So the usual podium crew I'm usually expecting to see is Elliot Fagater and Polymer. And Polymer and Elliot Fagater and this is going to have to be crucial for Palmer on his part because if he wants to minimize the championship damage, he will have to try and get past Elliott, but he will have to clear the penalty. Oh, and that's a very wide Mouchelot coming out of the final corner. And this will be the final lap this time by for all of these guys. I imagine because of the fact that the time constraints and James Head was able to break through. So Elliot Fagater and Polymer still in hot pursuit. Oh, and I oh and I do see what's going on here. Palmer is trying to clear that penalty, but Doug Barrow is still alongside him. So Oh, and there's a bit of contact between the two cars. Palmer has cleared that penalty. So Doug Barrow is gonna have to do the heavy work if he wants to try and get on the podium again for this race. Elliot Fagner has gotten away from Polymer, but at the same time, he's losing to James Head, and James Head has not put a foot wrong all race long. Of course, there was a big moment of contact for, of spinning for Hairraiser, who has gotten himself back up pretty nicely into this race. Palmer doing a good job at defending onto the inside. Or actually on the outside for the most part. But Doug Barrow is going to try and make one stick for the inside. And he's done so and displaced Palmer one more position. But Palmer is going to have to try and get back at Doug Barrow if he wants any hope at trying to salvage the championship lead. He's, Doug Barrow is going to follow him and go count out. Mushala could get on the podium for the first time this season. James Head coming across for the final time. And he's going to win his third race of the season. James Head will win round number nine at Red Bull Ring. LA Fagner will come through and... Doug Barrow will just hang on, and Palmer has dropped down into six! So that's crucial championship points for Eslan Palmer. Oh my goodness me. At the beginning of the lap, it looked like he was going to get third, but he was displaced three more positions, and Doug Barrow has somehow found himself on the podium. Bar 27 coming in fifth, and Dirt Dude, who started this race on intermediates, had killed his race from the start, unfortunately, for himself. But he will come home in eighth with uh, something to be happy about as well. And that's going to be a probably, probably a penalty right there. But for the third time this season, James Head has survived the first of the wet races. And he has come through to win round number nine of the Straight Line Motorsports Mazda MX-5 Cup Championship. A pole position, fast slap, and a race win. So... James Head, Elliot Fagner, and Doug Barrow rounding out the podium, and we will invite our podium finishers into the party, of course. What a race. That was a good race. And so, players met. What a race that was. A lot of bumping and bruising, but in usually in these kind of cup cars, where... There's a lot at stake, especially in championship points like these. There are a lot to be had. And 
apparently all the messages were deleted from the guys who did join the co the and so unfortunately for him for them so we do have podium to be had and let me just turn on my notifications so that people can be able to get on it. Actually, I don't, I could, I stand corrected. We, I'm able to see those who are coming in and our third place man, Doug Barrow, you barely snuck it, snuck it up on the podium for the fourth time this season. So Doug Barrow, how do you, how would you describe your race against uh, a very tough field like it was today, especially in wet conditions? Sorry, I missed most of that. There's a lot of noise there. Yeah, it's fine, mate. Go ahead. Um, I guess I'll repeat the question again one more time. Uh, yeah. You barely snuck onto the podium, which basically you'll you'll take for granted. But how would you, how would you describe your race uh, racing in the wet? Obviously, against uh, against a lot of these tough drivers, obviously, and uh, at the end, especially having to pass Palmer for third place, obviously. I think they handle better in the wet. To be fair. <laughs> um. <laughs> Yeah, it's so um, it, there was a few dodgy moments in the race. I don't think I'd have been anywhere near the podium had uh, the little collision with Razor happened ahead of me. Um, I say a couple of little things that I thought were a bit suspect going on in front of me, but other than that, uh, you know, it just looked like early break in, in places for some people. But other than that, it was a good little race. And it sounded like a very good race for you, obviously. Um, did you even expect to find yourself up at the, up on the podium, obviously? No. <laughs> and that was the answer that I was looking for, obviously, from uh, from the man who's got his fourth podium of the season, and he will take home a nice chunk of points. Ali Fagner, second, another tough, another kind of a tough race for you, but in your active races, besides your missed two races at Fuji, obviously, you continue your podium streak, obviously, with another strong second place. How do you feel about that? Yeah, it was um, quite a strong race, actually. Um, I have had no practice whatsoever in any wet conditions. So if this was my first race in the wet in any car. Um, so I was going into it, I was a bit... Uh, okay. Um, but no, it was uh, it was good scrap. Uh, what was it, about four of us at, for, for the lead at one point. Um, Five of you. I, was, I, I, I did get quite a large, quite a large lag spike. Um throughout that um and that was i had sort of james come through me and then slingshot back behind me um this was after um the minor contact that um kind of sent me a little bit wide but um no all in all great race um i'm happy with the result based on the circuit conditions um and the lack of any practice so um yeah overall good uh, good haul of points to bring me back up in the championship to uh, to Palmer. And actually that remind that brings me to my next question actually speaking of the championship. Uh, and with your second place and with your and with Palmer's sixth place finish and he was leading the points by three points, theoretically, and this is all provisional provisional, so it's not official as I stand, Elliot Fagner, you should take the championship lead after that race. So how do you feel about that? Fantastic. Yeah. I I'm, I'm just having a look at the points. You were Palmer was 131 and you were 128, so. Yeah, and then, oh yeah, Razor was quite far back, wasn't he? And then, oh yeah, okay. And then he so, recovered yeah, as well. I'm not, I'm not really reading much into it at this stage. We've still got another race to go before um, before the weekend's out. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to bring it home and see what I can do in the next race. Well, there you have it, the man that, uh, that finished second place in this race, Elliot Fagner, which leads us to our race one winner of the weekend, round number nine winner to James Head. And James Head, that looked like a very scrappy battle for you, with you and Elliot Fagner for most of the race, obviously. How do you feel about your race win, obviously? That battle, honestly, was probably the best racing I've had since joining SLM, and that's saying a lot. That is saying a lot. I think credit to everyone that was in that battle. I think it was five of us fighting out for the lead in about five tenths of each other. So uh, credit to everyone. Elliot, Doug, uh, Palmer, and I do believe the other one was Hair Razor as well. So credit to all of them. Um, yeah, I, I honestly didn't expect to win. Uh, I've got to be honest. I didn't expect to win. Thought it was 
quite a scrappy race in places, but I think but I, I know Elliot was mentioning about the connection. Um, it was primarily on his end. The connection happened with the lag spike, um, and if I made any major con any minor contact in getting through for the lead, then I do apologise. Uh, but it was due to lag, I do believe, on that. And one more question for you, James Head, obviously. Um, are you planning on taking this momentum from qualifying and from this race into next race, obviously, and trying to look at yourself to sweep the weekend, obviously? Short, short term, try and win another race. Long term, try and win the championship. I think I'm getting the form now to start, start to strike a charge for the championship. Well, it's not did, too late. Well, you did come into this race nearly... Th oh, well, I should say... About 38 points behind the championship leader, which now would theoretically go to Elliot Fagner. And with another race win for you, obviously, you've racked up your third win of the season, which ties you for most wins of this season with Elliot Fagner. So going into next race, um, like I said, it could be another dicey one, of course. But so we do congratulate, congratulate Doug Barrow, Elliot Fagner, and James Head for their perspective podium and race win results. I have been your host and commentator for this race, SD underscore RDZ. And we will have another round of exciting rain racing here at the Rebel Ring in round number 10 of the Street Line Motorsports Mazda MX-5 Cup Championship. And once again, folks, I have been host and commentator for today's race, SD underscore RDZ. And we'll see you guys shortly in the next stream.